elevating right point or oh, something like that, the floating one. The sattva, laghu prakashakam, enlightening. It is uh, helping the knowledge or it brings the knowledge. So prakashakam. Like Pritya Priti Vishada Atmaka Prakasha Pravriti Niyamartha. There also it is mentioned. So now what is this Sattva? Sattvam Laghu Prakashakam Ishtam. Now when you see the characteristics of this Guna, this Sattvam is a purest substance which is inactive. That is what you should understand by Sattvam uh, in this uh, Sankhya philosophy. So, substance, it means it's something which can produce something. Later, it can produce something. And it is said it is Laghu or it gives uh, uh, knowledge, it means it is uh, uh, supporting knowledge, prakashaka. Now, where we can find all this? The sattva, if you see an object outside, so like this uh, book is an object. Is it sattva, raja or tama? How we can decide? and where we have the experience of these tribunas. Normally it is understood. Objects are uh, distinguished <coughs> with these gunas. It means each object has different combination of gunas. That is what normally we learn and uh, understand by this. So like uh, if this book this book, uh, is it Sattva or is it Raja, is it Tama? Or it means uh, that Sattva is dominant, other two are suppressed. So then it is called Sattva. But how can we understand this? What Sattva means? There is an observation on this. Although, in order to uh, understand what this is, in the scriptures they say just only these names and this Nalavu, uh, Prakashakam and all those things. But where we can, how we can find, how we can uh, really know what the Sattva is, nowhere it is said, clearly not there. But uh, seeing this uh, uh, descriptions, what is explained here, we know this Sattvam, Rajas and Tamas, all are connected to mindhood. Because in later Karikas it says, Sattva, Rajas, Tama, these Gunas, uh, differ in each person. And one object can be uh, perceived or uh, understood in three ways Sattva, Tama, and Raja. It means according to the that person's mind, the seer's mind, so who sees that he is uh, his mind is with Sattva Guna. Then the object is reflected as sattva. And then that is one point. The other point, when mind is uh, working or mind is active, like uh, uh, it is like not cheerful, then sattva is there. It means in that condition, 
you are uh, you can learn more think more meditate and do all these things and when mind is active stimulated exciting mood then you cannot sit quietly and do things it means raja is up so where it is it is in mind only. so all these three gunas are related to mind and now the tamas the same thing so when you feel dullness where you feel dullness the mind the opposite of uh, cheerfulness so uh, it means uh, this mind is no inactive and not supporting and in all other object which are uh, uh, they are they are not uh, having this uh, consciousness inertia so they are not working they are not acting as we act so therefore this trigunas are connected to mind as per our understanding now the question comes if that is the case now what about the objects outside non living beings object which which are the object do not have the mind so now what about that? actually in that also the manifestation of prakriti is there but each object is considered sattva rajas tama according to the mind only the mind, according to our own observation because one object can be uh, the cause of happiness for one person the same object can be cause of pain for another person it happens so according to our uh, uh, observation the objects change its character it means that object has all the three qualities according to the mind or uh, the mind which uh, receives it if mind has the sattva guna then that for that mind that object is sattva under another person the same object at the same time it may be different so this point should be uh, understood uh, in uh, uh, regarding this uh, sattva guna and all these gunas and therefore we try to keep our mind in sattva uh, the you know doing tapas or japas and all the sadhanas and even food and uh, all other actions we uh, try to keep the mind cheerful and now you see when mind is cheerful mind is happy we have everything so you have no problem with anything if mind is not happy <laughs> you are disturbed with the very if if the object may be very good but you will be not happy with the object so it means everything based on your mind the observer uh, the observer is the main uh, fact factor of uh, deciding the sattva and the uh, tamas and rajas so here also you see elevating or light or whatever uh, cheerful or whatever we say as lagu of uh, sattva guna it is connected to mind only and enlightenment enlightenment where it happens it is also in the mind and ignorance where it happens in the mind and action where it starts from mind so therefore it is connected to mind only that whatever it is given similarly when you uh learn gita the 14th chapter of gita and all those which are discussing about this trigunas and like that there also the same thing is repeated prakashagam pravritti uh, and tamas and uh, avaranam all these are uh, repeated there so therefore both the place they are same and sattva is not not a separate object now other Uh, point of uh, uh, observation here is 
like sattva when we say sattva is like an object like as a part of uh, something or say color for us color like white color or something like that nothing like that sattva is uh, prakriti only the one part of prakriti or uh, we cannot say part but uh, uh, for the sake of discussion we have to take so prakriti is three form the one part of that is substance like a material cause prakriti if prakriti is material cause it means prakriti is a substance for the creation so sattvam is there then comes sattvam lagu prakashakam okay ishtam means that is decided or okay, decided in uh, sankhya उपस्तंभगम चलम च रचः उपस्तंभग उपस्तंभ मींस एलिवेटिंग स्टिमुलेटिंग और एक्साइटिंग दैट इज उपस्तंभग सो इन इन एक्शन इफ रजा कम्स यू विल बी एक्टिंग द नेक्स्ट मोमेंट यू विल बी एक्टिंग द एक्शन विल कम आफ्टर द रजा कम्स आउट so if raja is inactive then uh, either you sleep or you meditate that one of them will happen if raja is inactive and then raja is active you will do some work satvika or tamas so according to your uh, tendency uh, the time uh, when you act the tendency is connected to that and these all are connected to uh another time the morning evening and uh, no night all these are connected and food and everything is connected to this so that is called upastambhaga upa stambhaga upastambhaga exciting character chalam chalam means uh, restless hmm So is acting always moving the momentum is there so the, uh, and one thing one meaning is that direct meaning is always having uh, momentum okay the other meaning is chalam means dealing with many it is always connected to many because when you are in action you will connect with many or when you are sleeping you are not connecting with anything you are within you and when you are meditating also say but in action you need other support other objects are connected to that therefore chalam means is like uh, energy so if energy is uh, 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 mobilized then there is some some, some action no? so similarly when raja is mobilized so there is action so then the objects are connected So this is a second meaning, dealing with many. That is chalam, chalam cha raja ha. Guru varana ka meva tama. The tama, tama is guru. Guru means heavy. The opposite of lekhu. Sir guru, the guru heavy, but uh, it is not light. and it is not floating it will just uh, it cannot uh, uh, it will go down so heavy because of heaviness gurutva it will go down there is so much gravity so we feel uh, heaviness heaviness of body heaviness of mind you feel sleep uh, as a like 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 that that is called tamas so that we experience we know that so heaviness is one characteristics of tamas the next one is varanakam varana means avarana is covering enveloping covering obscuring so these are the uh, uh, action of tama so what is covering what what, what it covers tama covers the knowledge the object so you will not see the objects and you will be not interested to know anything Read books or even see 
no objects outside just you don't want to think your thought process is stopped if because you have when you feel sleep you don't want to think you don't want to hear you don't want to know anything outside the sense organs are uh, inactive when the tama is there therefore it is covering it is not supporting knowledge it is not revealing knowledge it is covering knowledge so evala varnaka guru varanakam eva tamaha now you see by this characteristics you have to understand what is tamais it has no other no other indication only with the characteristics you have to understand now this character what the the action or whatever it is it is all connected to mind only so when mind is not uh, interested in knowing objects it means the mind is with tama so tamas is dominated in the mind so when we observe we will understand from the morning to evening when you are walking too much and no then mind is tired then normally the tama is increased and your energy is down uh, you don't feel happy you just want to uh, sleep you don't want to do any action so this is what tama means so avaranaka guru varanaka meva tamaha pratibavacha arthado vritti when it says now all these three gunas explained here are seemingly opposite of each other they have opposite characters like uh, sattvam and tama has just opposite characters and similarly uh, the racha also tattva uh, sattva and tama is by nature inactive inactive means they don't do any action in that condition you feel like sitting quiet and like that and that is also opposite and when raja comes the mind is active the raja is action and tama and sattva is inaction so these are all the opposite now here the question comes then how they work together because three opposite characteristics cannot work together the you the object which has two of, uh, or more opposite characters cannot work together it has to be some uh, some connection there then only it can work so then it says you see pratibavacha uh, arthado vritti they have a purpose for a purpose of purusha purpose of consciousness these three although they are opposite of each other they don't uh, go together with their action but when they have a common purpose they work together this is the philosophy they added here and vedanta uh, do not like this because vedanta says uh, e, 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 here here how can you say that now how these gunas know each other and how they this gunas uh, understand what is purpose is because they are they are they are, they are no consciousness no so how can they understand all this question comes but uh, here sangya they say uh, now uh, for the purpose of purusha now if the purusha wants the guna work for it then it's okay if purusha calls the guna and work for us then it's okay but purusha will not do anything that is what they say purusha himself is inactive it has no desire no uh, functions nothing like that so then that is also not possible anyway purushartha here arthadaha means purusharthas the purpose of purusha for a, a common purpose this three gunas function together as a lamp functions pratibhavat as a lamp hai na 
So in a lamp, there is a uh, by union of uh, contraries work together for a purpose. When we light the lamp, we have oil, then the cotton, you know, everything is there. So they are not connected each other. But to make the light, they work, work together. So similarly, here is like that. So lamp is different, oil is different, the cotton we use, that is different. Everything is different. But with their work together for the purpose of light or lighting. So this is what uh, happens here. So like a lamp, prativa vacha arthado vritti. Vritti means function operation. So they work together like this. Now, in all other objects, we can see this. The union of contraries, which are opposite characters or different characters, work together. Even in our bodies like that. Very well it is like that. They don't have a similar similarity. We see the uh, building. So many things are there in this. So they, they are together. They are connected together. If you take a vehicle, the engine inside the engine, there are too many parts. They work together. And in our body, muscles, different muscles, they work together. They don't have a, a communication or they don't have a connection together. So, uh, in all other objects it happens. Therefore, we can consider these three uh, gunas, even though they are different in characters, but they work together for the purpose of Purusha. Now, what is Purushartha, purpose of Purusha? Purpose of Purusha here is one is Bhoga and another is Moksha. The enjoyment and emancipation. So both are the object, only two, two Purusharthas. Enjoyment of objects, Bhoga and emancipation, ultimately you are uh, in that state of Moksha liberation. So this is the two purpose. For this two purpose, these Trigunas work together and they create all this what you see, the creation will also happen according to the Purusha's needs and all those. We will discuss all this karma and the, uh, how the karma comes and connection with the Mahatattva Angara and all this will come later. So here, uh, these three Gunas are uh, in the, these two karigas, 12th kariga and 13th kariga. So we have almost uh, uh, all the characteristics of gunas. In relation with this, we have a, uh, a small chart next page, gunas. So we have defined this gunas, sattvam, rajas, tamas. Uh, this uh, meaning, the English meaning given here, we just uh, try to communicate with some word because you will not find any meaning in dictionaries because it should not be written what is sattva is. So we found out studying all this, the sattva can be translated as purest substance. The later we will know why it is said so. Sattva is said to be sattva because the consciousness is reflected in this sattva. Therefore, the mind is also sometimes called sattva. And mahatattva is also called sattva. And intellect is also called sattva. Like in Vedanta, antakkarana pradimimbida chaitanya. So, the reflected consciousness. The consciousness reflected on Andhakarana is called Jiva, Sattva. So that is Sattva. So therefore, this, uh, this uh, substance is connected, directly connected to consciousness. The first reflection happens here. So when Sattva is there, then intellect works. So after that, 
all ahankara and this comes. So this we will understand after you no know, the karika will come the samyoga. Therefore, sattva can be translated as purest substance which helps knowledge and all those things. And raja stimulating momentum. The raja can be translated as stimulating momentum for uh, the sattva as well as tamas. Uh, because in Sankhya Darshana, raja is not producing itself anything. Raja is producing with sattva or with the tama. Either with sattva or with the tama. It is not uh, individually producing. It means uh, when raja is dominated, you will have an action. Of course, you will have an action. But that action will be from sattva's side or tama's side. So, Raja itself doesn't have any action like that. So, that is what it is called, it is in between. It is like energy. You know, energies can be diverted in any form. So, similarly, uh, for sleep also you need energy. For uh, meditation also you need energy. So, it is uh, giving momentum to both of this. Why? Because, I, as I said, by nature, the sattva and tama <coughs> both are inactive. They stand still. They have no action. So, when raja comes, it stimulates action. Tamas, knowledge preventive. Tamas can be translated like this. Knowledge preventive. Whenever prevention of knowledge is there, it means Tama is dominated. Tama is what? So, somehow we found and, uh, this uh, translation. And now, uh, whatever we learned now, Preeti, pressure, is connected to Sattva, Prakasham, knowledgeable or illumination, Lagu, elevating. And Apriti, Apriti is pain or suffering. Pravritti is activity, and Chalam is versatility, and the dullness, Tamas, and Avaranam. This is important. Restrainment of knowledge, the Avaranam. Avarana means we don't have a separate cover or something like that. Because whenever uh, knowledge is restrained, it means it is Avarana. It is not supported. Guru heavy. And in relation with all uh, this, we have many other functions like uh, 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 Sukham happiness and uh, straightforwardness, truthfulness and cleanness and intelligence and uh, happiness, cheerfulness, all these are connected to sattva. So, all development of sattva. Similarly, uh, ajnanam, ignorance, or uh, uh, laziness, or fear, and sleep, all these are connected to tamas. Unhappiness, and then jealousy, in the state of my mind, we uh, have jealousy and uh, greed, too much greed and too much action and uh, deserts and this all and then anchor and all those are connected to Raja. So in both uh, it, it can be developed. There are uh, other uh, definitions and uh, more elaboration is there in Gita. In 14th chapter you can read. So we will understand all the functions of uh, gunas. Now, proof of the properties of the unmanifest. So now we introduced gunas in two karikas. So we will stop uh, the gunas here. And now again we are going to 
uh, know little more about unmanifested and manifested. So what is the proof of unmanifested? The avyakta in the state of unmanifest because unmanifested whatever is there we don't know we have no trace about that therefore some uh, some definitions or some proof should be uh, brought to know that abhivekya te siddhi abhivekya te siddhi abhivekya te siddhi trai gunyat tad viparyaya bhavat trai gunyat tad viparyaya bhavat trai gunyat tad viparyaya bhavat karana gunatmagatva अव्यक्तम अभिषिद्धम कार्यस्य अव्यक्तम अभिषिद्धम कार्यस्य अव्यक्तम अभिषिद्धम इट से इस सिद्धि ही सिद्धम सिद्धि सिद्धम मींस एस्टैब्लिश्ड प्रूफ सो वी हैव एस्टैब्लिश्ड दिस सो व्हाई ही सेज इन बिटवीन बिकॉज़ इफ यू आर गोइंग टू एस्टैब्लिश एनी फिलॉसफर the philosopher has this duties whatever he says it should be proved with logic and uh, valid proof so therefore he is saying uh, we are not just saying we have some proof some logic to prove it so what is unmanifested when you ask he says abhivekyate uh, he siddhi traigunyat now this uh, non discriminativeness avivekyate avivekitva avivek means viveka means discrimination aviveka means non discrimination and uh, here uh, this character when it comes as a character so we have to say non discriminativeness so you have to make something like this so he says uh non discriminativeness etc is proved that something is there beyond this because this no uh, dis, uh, we have discriminative power sometimes so we are unable to discriminate sometimes so what is the reason so both are there no sometimes we are happy or sometimes we are unhappy what is the reason for that we are the same our body is the same mind is the same and intellect is the same objects are the same everything is same but unfortunately we are happy and sometimes and we are unhappy so what is the reason for that in our day to day experience we uh, come across all these questions so they are answering this because when your uh, mind is with uh, sattva you are happy and when your mind is dominated dakta samatamas is dominated that you are unhappy or we, we don't feel good so therefore there is some reason why this uh, non discrimination and all this comes so abhivekya dehi siddhi trai gunya because of three gunas abhivekya adi or whatever we discuss before no in the uh, last uh, karika trigunam avivegi vishaya ha samanyam chetana prasava dharmi dilavant karika we discussed this so those are there because of trai gunya why if where there is no trai gunya where there is no triguna there is no avivekya and where there is trigunas there this discrimination don't don't uh, non discrimination happiness and unhappiness all this comes and what does it mean it means in chaitanya in purusha there is no discrimination non discrimination or happiness or unhappiness it means the chaitanya 
is untouched with, unconnected with this trikunas. So this is the proof. This is the logic they use. So trigunya, because of uh, uh, these objects are constituted by three gunas, yes. we experience all this happiness and unhappiness all the Tad viparyaya abhav, that is what it says. Tad viparyaya means opposite of this, which has no gunas. What it is? Purusha. So Purusha has no guna, that nirguna Purusha. The guna as are not connected to Purusha. The Purusha do, uh, do not. Uh, uh, Purusha doesn't uh, uh, connect with these gunas, therefore Purusha has no discrimination or non-discrimination or nothing or whatever we discuss, Purusha doesn't have all this. Okay? Now, Karana Gunatma Gattva, how, even then how we can know that the unmanifested have all these uh, uh, qualities? So unmanifested whatever it is there. So karana gunatma gattva because the cause whatever the characteristics cause has the same characteristics comes to effect. So cause and effect has the same characteristics. Therefore karana gunatma gattva Karna Gunapnavatva, effects containing the attributes of the cause. So, whatever there in the cause will continue to the effect. Therefore, we should say if the effect as our body and mind has all this abhivekya and all those, it means the cause also has, whatever it is. So, Karna Gunapnavatva Karisya. Avyaktam avisiddham. This way we can prove that unmanifest also exists. Avyaktam avisiddham. So we will say how lightly they said. <laughs> the, because what they think, when we gave proof, it is proof. So now you have to think about that and understand how it is possible. And now everywhere. Uh, the Sankhyas use this cause and effect here because effect we have uh, we, we have connection with the effect we can see the effect so effect is there in our mind so whatever experience we have we have the experience of effects effects of the prakriti the manifestation of the prakriti so if we know what is manifested then you know what is unmanifested. So you infer from ma manifested to unmanifested. Everywhere it is like that. Even in science it is like that. So whatever we have manifested or the effect of whatever produced the product we have, from the product we go uh, to find out the cause of the product. So like that. So abhyaktam karana gunatma gattva karyasya abhyaktam abhi siddham. Therefore, always remember the effect will not leave the character of cause. That is the theory. Now, Sattva Rajas Tamas, it is also experienced in this body and mind. If this body and mind has Sattva Rajas Tamas, then Prakriti will also have Sattvara Samas. It goes up to there. Ultimately, Prakriti will have. Because Karna Gunatma Gattva Karis. It comes from there. It comes down from there. And then uh, we experience here. So, <clears throat> this is proved here. Now, unmanifested, uh, proof of the unmanifested again comes. These two slogans continued with all this 
characters. We have to do in a different uh, level that we will see uh, the next uh, class because two slogans together. We have to uh, learn together. That.